Ah. Alright, hey guys, it's Ninja Spaghetti. Again. I fell in the acid. Because I'm not jumping! Um. We're in a little bit of a different spot, so you didn't miss anything. Um. All I did was I. I, I went to check something and then found out that I can't do it, so. Then I went the other way. <laughs> entirely. I don't think I can go in this room yet. I can't go in this room yet. That was, uh, pretty easy to figure out. Oh yeah, those projectiles also go through walls. Figures. This is a really cool mechanic there. Oh, I had to, like, drop, um, like that. Now, this is the ice beam. So, Samus can now use ice beam. Um, it's a lot more useful. First off, it plays a different sound when I fire. But it also uh, freezes enemies, which, if you're powering up, you generally want to turn that off. But um, it freezes basically any enemy that's not a boss. So, like, unkillable enemies, it will freeze. Like, there's a lot of enemies that I haven't even shown off yet. Um... Like this one here. This is a freezable enemy. Like I can freeze him. And then the fire stops spouting from his buttocks. I don't even know why I like tried to do that. Alrighty. Now that we have the ice beam, we can actually get out of here. But I think there's other things I can do here still. I don't know. I'll go backwards still, though. Because <sighs> we've gotten all kinds of new power-ups to use now. Like, for instance, the high jump allows me to get much higher than before. It also plays, like, depressing music here. Hey, it held it. Uh, the bullet's still the same. Nothing too special. But those guys, like, the most annoying enemies in this game, I can freeze. I don't think I can move quickly in water yet, though, which I cannot. You're actually supposed to get, um, that item that I had gotten before the first boss fight, or the th uh, second boss fight, I mean. Um, by the way, both of those bosses that I fought were major bosses. I'm stuck in these spikes. Um, they're just really easy. Which is good because... Come to think of it, boss fight three is actually not as easy. That's a map, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is a map. Or an energy. It's an energy refill. Uh, I'll take it. That's I mean it's an energy tank in plus six. Now this room is fun. No, I hit my head. Jump! No. All right, that was actually not bad at all. That's the only way you can get out of there, by the way. So if you have already gone in there and thought that it was like, and thought you could just like leave, you can't. You are literally trapped. Also, a jerk move that they did, those platforms that I was just jumping on, not the, not the enemies, but um, the platforms, are actually destroyable. So if you were to place a bomb it, oh no. <laughs> this room is the worst. That's why. I mean, they only do like 10 damage, but then she, the plant drops you into the other one. Don't fall back in there. It's, it's very helpful to freeze the enemies in this room. Always remember, um, always, another thing that I can point out, always remember that you can turn on and off items whenever you wish. Uh-oh, it locked behind us, but yellow. Yeah, remember that you can always, always turn off an item. So say for some reason you don't like the spacer, yeah, spacer, um, you can turn it off. Like, you don't need to have it on. 
Um, I don't know why you would, but that's just that was just an example. It's actually pretty fun. Holy crap, these are big enemies. Now, as you can see, um, all the flowers in this room... Oops. Oh my gosh, I think these are actually... Oh, crap! Alright, never mind. There's an item in there, but you can't get it unless you apparently jump off the edge due to momentum. Oh, can I actually go in? Yeah! Look at that! Oh, that was a disappointment. <laughs> it's, it's still cool that I can do that. Like, just randomly go in there. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way yet. I think I'm supposed to go the other way. I don't really know. Um, it's been a really long time since I actually played this game, so... I don't know. Yep, I need to go the other way. <laughs> I think there's actually, like, a second spot that you can go into... I don't know. I'll just blow these up. There's like caterpillars here. I don't understand the point of them. I think they just kind of tried to add a variety of animal life to this game. Just to kind of make it seem a lot more uh, real in a way. There it is. Power bomb. I always call these super bombs, so I'm probably going to be calling them super bombs in the Let's Play. Now, one thing that's interesting is you can blow... I think you can blow these up. Yeah, this is power bombable. Um, you can only have one on the screen at a time, but it destroys everything. And look, more missiles. We're actually kind of low on missiles. I don't know why I only have five super missiles as well. I think there's like 80 power bombs in this game though so there's actually more i think there's more anyway yeah don't don't hold me accountable for that one because i'm not positive but i think so caterpillar they're really weak and they don't actually drop good items mostly most of the time And the power bombs can open those yellow doors. And I believe those are the last one, the last doors to open. It's crazy how easy this game actually is. Because the first time that I beat this game, it took me about 48 hours. Which is awful, by the way, in case you didn't know. I feel like there's another secret in this room. Um, oh yeah, another thing that's nice. Before I do that, let me check and make sure that this... Okay. With the power bomb, it will reveal any secrets on the screen, and then some actually. So that's a pretty useful little tidbit to know about. Uh oh, I am running. Actually, I'm actually running out of time to record, so I'm gonna have to find a save here as soon as I can. Now these crab things are really tough. Like, surprisingly tough. And they almost always, I think, drop power bombs, too. Like, as the enemies get stronger, they drop better items. However, they also are stronger. Like, these guys, they're not nearly as strong as they were before. Yeah, one thing that's nice to know about the power bomb is you don't have to set it right next to the door to break it. Or to use it. Alright, there's nothing we can do in this room. Good to know. Ow. <laughs> Just about to get the super run. Now, um, I didn't actually show off this area very much, but... Um, Alright, I botched that. Um, now, I'll go for it. I have a little bit more time anyway. Uh-oh. I, I think I made a mistake. There it is. Come on. Come on. I also don't think that the... Um, yeah, they don't drop. 
so that's another come on do I need to wall jump oh my gosh I'm wasting time I could just be I don't know why I ran all the way back there <laughs> I hit my ship How am I supposed to do that? Maybe I need to be on the, like the, the tip. I gotta be on the nose. That did not work. Is it back here? These platforms lead you to um, an area where there's like power bombs or something. Oh, I think I just do that, don't I? Nope. Same exact spot. There we go. I got it. Now, if I remember correctly, this room is the worst. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that I had that on my screen. Yeah, this room is, like, literally the worst. Come on. You know what? I'm not going to do this room. Holy crap. Um, yeah, acid does a really, really lot of damage. Like, lava did, does quite a lot. I think it still does damage. Not a power bombs. Oh, I was so hopeful that I'd land on my ship. Alright, so. Ugh, gotta stretch out. Yeah, this restores everything and is a save. So it's very useful. All right, so this has been a good five-episode recording. I mean, that's that's a week of videos. So thank you all for watching. I have been Ninja Spaghetti. I'll see you all in the next video. I guess I could actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to show this off. Um, you can turn off things. So, like, say I don't want the spacer. Now the spacer is off. And that's what the ice beam looks like. It's pretty cool to add specific combinations to things. Alright, bye everyone.